What's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Use Boats TV. Today I'm going to show you how to put a skeg guard on your skeg, which is the bottom part of your outdrive. Alright guys, I should probably stop here and explain what a skeg guard is. See, a skeg guard is made if you have any damage on your skeg, which is the bottom of your outdrive beneath the cavitation plate, or cavitation plate, propellers, skeg. It's a triangle shaped piece, kind of. So if you were to forget to trim it up, or you bump maybe something, or you bumped into your lift on the dock, put some marked scuffs, scrapes, and scratches on your cavitation plate, or you just want to make it look pretty and shiny like this, you can buy one of these skeg guards, and it just goes right over the top. Um, a lot of people, when they see these, they think something bad has happened. Uh, that's not always the case. Sometimes you just put this on because it looks ugly. So that's what a skeg guard is. Now, let's look at the parts that we're going to need. So this is an alpha drive. In the description down below this video, if you click that, I'm going to put a link to the sky guards that we use here at Heartland Marine. So be sure to check those out. You can get it right off Amazon. So, step one, after you got all your stuff put together, go ahead and put your skeg guard over your skeg. Get it up nice and tight. You can use a rubber mallet to help beat it on a little bit. You want to get it on there as tight as you can, nice and flush, up high. So once this is up here high, you see your two holes, go ahead and get your screwdriver ready. Now for this one, the drill bit I chose to use is the same size as the female receiving bolt, okay? So you would use about that same size and then just go straight through the holes. Straight through the holes. Okay, now that you have punched through the outdrive with your drill bit, you put Get your little baggie out, which has your female bolts and your male bolts. Put your females on one side, your male on the other. Go ahead and start it by getting them just hand tight so that they lock up, match up. Take your Allens and tighten it up just as tight as you can get. Once you have that just as tight as you can get it, your skag is done. So that is how you put a skag guard on an outdrive. It doesn't matter if it's an Alpha, a Bravo, a Volvo SX, a dual prop. That's how you do it. Okay? One other thing you can kind of do, and I'll put a link in the video down low, is when you have little nicks, scuffs, scrapes, and scratches, you can get your touch-up paint. Now, if it's real bad, you can use a wire brush and kind of hit the spots. You can use some sandpaper, smooth it out even more, maybe use some compressed air to clean that up, then hit it with your touch-up paint. And you'll have your outdrive looking amazing. Well, my name is Brandon. I sure hope you like this video. I make a lot of training and how-to videos and boat reviews. Should you do me a favor, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. Thank you for watching. Models popping bottles. Hey.